or welcome back to the Frequency Phoenix 555 for your weekly pick a deck read on this Jupiter Thursday. Yes, baby, we are talking about emancipating yourself from mental straight slavery, right? The notification has just gone out more big cats are afoot. Yes, they are. Let's get me eyes on because you know Case can't see a damn thing. Mm -hmm. This is the period of time, big cat, where you realize that you are smarter than you thought you were. Stronger than you ever was. Mm -hmm. But you also have to remember and keep this thought in your mind. How, how are you going to win if you're not right within? It's all about going within to get out, darling dear. You can't, I repeat, you cannot sleep your way out of this one. This, is a, this reading is about um, what possible blocks, what areas you're working on, where you need to put some more effort into. You need to be like an elf, working into the night. If you have a dream, something that ignites your passions, you need to get stuck into it, Scotty. There's no time, because none of us know the day, the hour, or the minute. When Father God Most High is going to say, come back. Okay. Let's call in the energies of guidance and protection. Energies up. Before I pick the rune arm, um, the domino for the day, big cats, I want to draw your attention to verse 1 of Psalms 91. When you take refuge in Father God, Mother Isis, you will find yourself always protected, always abundant, full on direction and focus, man. Right. Let's get the domino of the day, eh? Thank you. You good golly gosh. Love it. As I use my watch, cardio back up to the deck. Mm -hmm. I am now what? Power on. Armed. Bluetooth mode. And dangerous. Yes, baby. Mm -hmm. Lean in, best friend. Lean in. You have the double one. This is the energy of what? The magician. You have those badass alchemist ways. Some of you, some of you are not able to formulate your your ideas or get them off the ground. Divine is wanting you to know and give you that push and pat on your back to say that you have all the tools. This is about you being able, some of you are being coming out as um, motivational speakers or speaking out in the public. This is about you, what? Gaining the skills for your projections. This is about, some of you need to practice more in front of a mirror. Come out of that shell, you've got no time, Caroline. Seanetta, Mary, John. Mm-hmm. The energy of the double one. Lean in, best friends. Lean in. This talks about what? Harmony and affection is predicted. I told you, many of the big cats are about to go into what? Union with their truly divinely guided partner. This, yeah. This is somebody that is a stranger to you. It's no one from the past, yeah. No one that you left behind at 911 Freddy Krueger Mud Hut. Trust and believe. And if it is, baby, <laughs> you need to do what I always, 
offer up. Put me on pause while you go to the mirror. Grab yourself by the throat and give your face a good smack in. Now let's get on with the read. Pull yourself together. Posh clap. Mm -hmm. Lean in, best friend. This is also saying, do not, I repeat, do not postpone. Make it an important decision today. Mm -hmm. Because of big cats. Oh, sorry about this. Yeah. Right? The energy of the one is about evaluate. Divine has given it to you twice. This is about looking and looking again, using your discernment, understanding that you have the intellect to create whatever you so choose to on this Malkuf. But it's about what? Getting out of your cranium and remembering. Faith without works is dead blood. James 2, verse 14 to 26. Mm -hmm. This is about you questioning everything, right? There is also forces outside of yourself, deceptive forces, because we have two magicians, one behind the other. This talks about a con man, a high commander Decepticon, right? A perpetrator of atrocities that will take your hairline and your common sense. Quick, smart and in a hurry. This is about you being aware of energies trying to manipulate your mind. Mm -hmm. A lot of you are realizing that your dreams are being infiltrated by these bottom feeding lurkers. Right? You have to cut all ties. Spiritual, mental, physical, emotional, financial, everything. Cut it half blood. Right, let me just rein in my emotion. Bring it down a nap, a touch, a notch. Mm -hmm. You also have to understand with the double one, size does not matter. No, it doesn't. Not when it comes to your passion. Mm -hmm. You have to understand the darkness that you went through, right? These are um, these dark clouds, these heavy feelings, these repeating cycles, right, was for you to understand the impossible is being gifted unto thee. Do you not see the double one? You have what it takes, Scotty. There is no such thing as a mistake around a big cat. It's an opportunity to learn, grow, and fuck off, blood. And don't go back. Mm -mm. All right, let's move on. As you know, big cats, we are fast approaching the new moon in Aries, right? Aries is about, um, Aries is the first house. It's about yourself, your ego, your appearances. This is about new beginnings. Mm-hmm. This is about you changing your attitude or bossing up with an attitude, knowing that what you need to be haughty in certain companies. East Island, Stevie Wonder. Mm -hmm. The new moon speaks about um, is going to be this particular one is going to be igniting your passions, getting you into action. This is about your motivation being what? Ignited, darling, dear. Mm -hmm. This is your self-confidence growing, having clarity, right, for a clean start, ushering in this new beginning with full-on clarity, nothing like having a bit of clarity to get you off the hopscotch, right, and on the good foot, right, into the paths and wilderness unknown. In this age of Aquarius, where everybody and their cousin backwards or forwards, is online. Millionaires, millionaires are being made on a daily basis. All they needed to have was a charger and a, and a, and a mobile phone. So when you're thinking of, I can't, I can't, it's because you don't want, you don't want, and you have to be hungry. Power is not given. You have to take it and understand you are the holder and the keeper of the power grid, darling dear. Your power grid, your paradigm. Ooh. 
We're going to go to deck one. We've got deck one with the clear quartz. We've got deck two with the amethyst points. And we've got deck three with the snowball, snowball, <laughs> a snowflake obsidian quartz. Yeah. Not quartz. Snowflake obsidian. Listen, blood. You know what I mean. Just forget I just said it. Let's get the runes on the table first. Oh, we've got a runner. That's a lot of runes. Mm -hmm. A lot of Santa Paula out. This is telling me that somebody needs to do a cleansing of their domicile. Where's the runner? Because this is what happened the other day. It was so gone. I didn't find it two days later. And it was purple. The High Priestess. Mm -hmm. Right. You're going to learn these runes by golly gosh. You are going to learn them, Scotty. Right. We're going to look at where everything fell, first of all, before we go into the deck. So I'm going to timestamp after the read. Right. The runner, right, was I was. Mm -hmm. This is about movement, trans a transportation. Somebody is on the move, traveling. This traveling is going to bring what? As a series of serendipitous events, darling dear. Mm -hmm. I was is also represented by Scorpio as well as Sagittarius energy. I was, or I was, two different pronunciations. The numbers are um, 56, 59, 55, and 52 are very significant. At this moment in time, you are going to be uh, achieving a major transformation. Discovering moderation, the, which gives you a new level of growth. And it could be just moderation with your energies and times, darling, dear. Because we've got no time for what? F shit, darling. F shit. Mm -hmm. I was also represents temperance as well as death, Scorpio and Sagittarius energy as I already said this is about bringing a new balance into your life this is the long term that you're looking at for this transition to be completed or in the stages of completion, spiritual transformation, physical, I said abundance on all levels, because you have those badass alchemist ways. Mm -hmm. Okay. Somebody's having a spiritual breakthrough because we have daggers, a new dawn, a new day. This is judgment right next to the high priestess. Come on, Scotty. Judgment is represented by fire energy as well as water and Pluto energy. This is about Dharma, darling dear. Life changing Dharma. Mm -hmm. This also speaks about a renewal of a contract. Could be a contract with somebody, an ex, a past person returning. Look, I you know how I feel, but it's my opinion. And as I always say, opinions are like arseholes, right? We've all got one. Mm -hmm. The high priestess is represented by moon energy as well as water energy. This is about, as I said, going within to get out, darling dear. This is not the time for you to be sleeping on your damn self. No way. Mm -mm. Jose. Yes, baby. So we have the letter E. We also have the letter D. And we have the letter P. We also have I was again. Again, this is prompting somebody to get out of that doldrums. Get out of that stagnation right you need to change your focus change your perspective perspective of the situation come on another e so we have d oh look what it spells d e e m deem what you deem it so shall it be yes let's carry on we also have what lagas water energy darling dears mm -hmm. This is in the upright. This is um, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. This journey may 
go across water could possibly be a lake this is also about being in the flow having a true renewal of your situation this is looking at things from a different perspective this is also about using your power of renewal to go into the unknown, tapping into your wildest dreams, your deepest fantasies, and bringing them forth into the Malkuth. This is also about you. What controlling your emotions? Don't allow them to be your king. It's what? That inner child brat. The one you need to hug and tell to piss off. Yes, baby, in a loving kind of a way. Pinkies up. Yeah. The letter L. Mm-hmm. This is represented by the hangman. This is about seeing things from a different perspective. As I said, the hangman also represents prison, mental prison. Bob Marley said you need to emancipate yourself from that shiznai. Okay? You don't... If you was waiting for a sign, here's your sign, blood. Drop down and get your eagle on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is represented by the letter L. Right? We also have swallow, sun energy. This is about having a deep healing. This also speaks about commitment of a marriage, birth of a child, being what? Abundant with fertility, fertile ideas. Mm -hmm. Not allowing negative thoughts from the past, right? Or from outside influences, right? That, that are just what? Snakes, right? Mm, listen. As I was saying before, I interrupted myself with a tirade. Mm -hmm. This is again talking about you being awake to the truth. It also speaks about somebody getting a promotion. Could be in work, spiritual promotion, or their job, their their business is being promoted or needs more promotion. Mm -hmm. Divine is telling you to be cautious at this time. Do not, I repeat, do not ignore your calling. This is swallow, represented by the letter S. Okay. We also have what? Canaz. Mm -hmm. This is hermit energy. In the reverse, Scotty. Yeah. You have somebody around you who has a tendency to what? Codependency. This person is going through some serious health issues. Unenlightened. This person is nobody's friend, blood. A betrayal of everyone. Listen. They are of what? The Judas variety. You see the difference between Judas and Peter. Peter! Made a mistake. This Judas likes it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This person's job in life is to have to misunderstand whatever it is you're trying to be or become. This person wants to come out of what? The Easter Island, Stevie Wonder, and the Coventry that you sent them off to. With two of these and one of those. Hey, oh, it probably is a hole. Yeah, this is represented by the letter K and the letter I, Hermit Energy. Mm -hmm. That was in the middle of these two rooms. Good God. Look at this shit. I can't make it up. Today is your wishing world, darling dears. Right? And with the energy of the new moon in Aries coming in, this is about you setting your what? Where's my prop? Because you know how Case loves to use a prop. This is about you setting your madras, right? Writing down your intentions of this clean state, this new beginning. Mm -hmm. Because you have to also remember, right? With this Aries um, new moon, we also have a what? A full moon in Taurus. And it's going to be a pink moon, right? An elder moon. This is a seed moon, right? A time to make, a great, to make great changes in your life. So this, at this point... You should be starting to set the stage for what you want, right? Because, bebe, we have fail. Fail is about what? Luck, right? This is the um, abundance. The mo Listen, divine is about to bless you with some money. Hey, 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 yeah. Pennies, not even pennies, right? Stacks from heaven. Mm -hmm. This is also a returning of um, mental health as well as what a stable foundation, right? Something coming out of out of the blue for you, but it's going to be extremely abundant, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Love this. Don't want to put it down.
failure is represented by the world card this is about what ending of cycles cycles that are going to bring a fresh abundant start into your life but you need to use your inner knowledge and wisdom it also predicts what world travel i told you you're getting on the moon scotty it's represented by um this symbol is also represented represents othella right so that's the letter o and the letter f right and today's the day for you to what be writing out your intentions as we fast approach the new moon on the 11th of april mm -hmm. how many was that two four six eight nine right energy of the um hermit right so we've got d e e p l s k that lovely lovely gorgeous lovely fabulous blank rune and it's on the Palo, Palo santo Mm -hmm. do that cleansing it's going to go well right and an f okay let's move these to one side as we go into deck one i will time stamp everything let me just get a bit more comfortable and have some of my what absolute this is my favorite fizzy drink to go to outside the fizzy water right elderflower tonic water i like the indian one but i find that one a little bit spicy i don't know i just had a down note for somebody trying to release alcohol in their life you need to use um fizzy stuff i don't know why it's fizzy drinks or um sugar it's the balancing out of the sugar but be careful of the chocolates and the sweets. You'll rot your teeth. Right? And the tooth fairy don't come for you after the age of what? Six or seven. So if it drop out, it gone for good blood. Gone for good. And you don't want to be called a... What a toothless wonder. By anyone. Not even yourself. Especially a child. Because you know kids are innocent. When they say things that will cut you to the core. To the core. Mm-hmm. Let's get into deck one right energy on the base of the deck we've got the page of pentacles in the reverse this talks about bottom feeders prakalas and prakalicious right mm -hmm. right trying to keep your mind mentally enslaved for some of them caused you to be a what bit butty in your belfry barking at passing cars somebody who's extremely immature right and love to spend money what money? Your money, darling. Yours. Mm -hmm. This is also about somebody having difficulty moving forward from you. I told you, you're still in their, their energies in the 5D and they're pulling on it, right? This is why you're finding yourself dicing your intuition, asking yourself once, twice and thrice when you know Divine gave you the answer the first time. Pardon me, that was a spiritual belt as I was speaking, because you know I speaks the truth, Ruth. Pinky's up. Oh my goodness, somebody's calling me, and I really do have to take this call. Ah, devil's a liar. Hello, I'm doing a live at the moment. What's going on? It's just 118 people and me. You're at East Croydon. Are you going to get the button? All right then. Um, um, hold on a minute. I'm going to get O'Shea to call you back and he'll, he'll direct you from there, yeah? Okay. All right. I'm going to get him, get him to, I'm telling him to come to your number. Please bear with me, everybody. All right. Hold on one second. All right. Speak to you in a minute. Sayonara. Just one second. Let me just give my son this number and then we can continue with this. O'Shea! Call a shiny back in there. Sorry about this, guys. Got a lot of things going on. 
That was my um, my nephew. He's one of the best hairdressers in the UK, and he's coming to sort up O'Shea's dreadlocks because he needs to get his lion on. Yes, baby. Anyhow, let's get back in the ring. Please excuse my my um, having to get around, get about, or get off. Right now, every, my music's messing up. Everything is not right. Let's get back to the yeah. Bring the Feng Shui back to it at all. As I was saying, deck one. Mm -hmm. This is somebody who's extremely codependent. This person cannot co-create on their own, right? They're having what? Mental issues or m issues of the mind. Their stability is effed up, right? Whatever situation in, they're feeling like the goat's ass. Yes, baby. Mm -hmm. Not taking that. Right. Energy around your mental freedom for deck one. We've got the King of Cups. Oh, 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 hey! Lord have mercy! Some of you want this union. You think that this is going to be the be all and end all. Yes, you are the Empress of everything. You've got it like that, right? But Divine is also encouraging you to keep a lid on your emotions, right? You do have a King of Cups coming in. And it's going to give you a mental freedom somewhat. Right? This is somebody that's coming in to match your gangster. This is somebody that's going to love and respect your feelings and emotions. This is someone because the Empress is a is a parent, a good parent, a nurturing, right? An excellent role model, right? Listen, only a king or a hierophant is fit for the Emperor or Empress. Trust and believe. Posh clap. That's what's going to free your mind, darling dear. Listen, everybody's got different goals, mate. This is a union indeed. What just fell on the floor? Oh. Oh. Queen of Cups in the reverse. Mm-hmm. Looks like this Empress coming off the back of a bitch. Yes, I said it. A bitch. Clutch your pearls. Girls and boys, clutch them. Because this one is a full-on Revelations 220. Jezebel spirit. Ikubai and Sakubai. This person has to release themselves. From that situation before they can come towards you and you have to make sure that they are emotionally ready for you this person right is jealous right they watch them on a regular basis highly emotionally manipulative this person is trying to free themselves they're trying to free themselves and you need to take your mind off the fact that you want this person to come in because you want them to come in healed and whole right not with this harridan on their back Good God. Right. What's trying to come out? I'm going to lay it as I see it. Mm -hmm. This is about, some of you need to go into what? A higher learning. This is a new business, right? Some of you have been working hard, right? In order to grow whatever foundation you've created. It could be like higher studies. It could be a business, right? This could also just be your mental health, right? And you, it's about, it's as though you're not seeing much change, but you have to hang in there. There's no point crying. Don't cry because you're the empress of everything, right? This is about you knowing, right, without a shadow of a doubt, that you are heading for great success, great achievement. Mm -hmm. So you need to let go of that thought that, that, that it's not going to work, right? You've got the high priestess here. Trust your intuition. Mm -hmm. This King of Cups is going to come in, come in swiftly into your life. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, the Knight of Swords is represented by Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We also have the Eight of Pentacle, Scorpio Energy. Again, the Empress is um, Earth as well as Venus Energy. We've also got the Ten of Cups here. Scorpio Energy. And then we've got the um, Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. What's trying to come out here? This King of Cups is going to come in quite swiftly and catch you off guard. Mm -hmm. Not only are they what? Emotionally stable and available, right? If you allow them to come in by the bloody self, take your mind off of it, blood, right? This person is going to be a smooth operator. Mm -hmm. They're going to know how to talk you out of a thing or two, right? It's somewhere, someone who's going to what? Want to stick for the long haul. Yes, baby, because this is you working 
on your future goals, waiting for them to come in. When this person turns up, union will be a foot. Uh -huh. What about this Queen of Cups, right? Listen, she's going to be extremely jealous and envious of what the stable foundation, the emotional fulfillment, because this King of Cups is coming to give you your 10th cup as only the, the Empress or Emperor deserves, okay? This person is not going to be able to block your blessings. Mm -hmm. But you're going to have to protect yourself because the Queen of Cups is highly intuitive. Because this is in reverse, this person is not, right, averse from using spell work, right, to try and scupper what's going to be going on in your life. This is emotional fulfillment. Let's get this fight. Oh, two cards. Right. Listen. No weapon formed about formed against you by a dick dealing hoe, right, is going to prosper, stagnant stuff, and it's ones, ones represent spirituality, whatever, spell work, malicious words, emotional manipulation they try to get, to try and wheedle their way into your Shangri-La, that's going to be gifted to you, right, by Father God, Mother Isis, this King of Cups, right, it's not going to work, blood. This person will always be jealous because you are a high achiever and you always get what you deserve because you know how to put that work in. Mm -hmm. No weapon formed against you guys. For deck one. What's this card on the floor? Mm -hmm. Whatever they try to send towards you to break up this stable foundation because of their sick and twisted nostalgia. Their twisted view of whatever life they had with this King of Cups. Right? It's not going to work. If they've got children in the situation, they're going to try and distort the children. It's not going to work. They're going to love you. If this King of Cups comes in with progeny, I see two in this picture. They, they, their children are going to love you. They're going to hate it. They better hate it quietly, yeah? Quietly. Because we what? We've got free go to moose blood. Hey. Mm -hmm. Let's get an FP on that and then we're going to move on. To deck two. Namaste, big cats. Right, yeah, I told you. Do you saw that, right? Fall on this new union. They're going to be extremely petty about it, right? I told you, the jealous mouth breather, children of the corn, right? They would love to be able to come and play, play in our life, but what? You are playing chess. Not checkers with no bottom feeders that are jealous of what you're going to have going on or have got going on. Because some of you are already in the union, right? This King of Cups is not going to be going backwards to help the twisted, right? And the emotional manipulative, right? Divine is telling you to what? Continue to be grateful every day. Because you, every day you open your eyes, you've got another day to succeed, right? This is about you continuing to know your worth, right? Give him that, that whatever, right? The jelly, big really, right? Play possum, pretend you're dead, they'll go away. And continue to what? Take that leg up from the divine. Free yourself of what? Being of this, this longing and need for a stable situation from a truly divinely guided partner. Because the longer you hang on to that, right? It's not going to manifest. And you leave them what? In the hands of what? Venus flytrap, Punani. And the longer it takes for your union to come into, for, into play. Right. Let's move on. Going to go to pile two. Namaste, big cats. Okay, what's the energy about around your mental freedom? This is the amethyst points. Oh, and the base of the deck. This is about you needing to recoup and heal, right? From situations and circumstances that just put you on your back blood. Yes, baby. This is a time for you to ret retreat, right? Some of you are suffering from some kind of exhaustion. This also speaks about a temporary separation. Maybe you're having a temporary separation in your marriage or temporarily separating yourself from those that put you on your back. Yes, baby. Mm -hmm.
right. Yes, moon energy. This is about you tapping into your intuition, right? Being able to feel bad energy around you. If that's what you were thinking, you're right, blood. Energy has been sent at you. Somebody's trying to put the big word on you. Mm -hmm. Moon energy is Pisces energy as well as Cancer. This is the energy that was put on you was one to give you the spirit of loneliness so that your picker can be off. 144 in the chat room. Namaste. Chosen. Mm -hmm. Posh clap. Yay. Love that energy. Badass big cat alchemist ways. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This also tells me that you are going to be what? Shown a lot of false and fake for gazy friends. Prackalus and prackalicious animals in a kitten yield. Merchants of slander. Right. Perpetrators of the gingivitis mouth. Yes, baby. These enemies are about to be unmasked you because what is in the dark always comes to light, right? Especially when you put discernment up in the mix and you are full of that at this moment in time. Deck two. Mm -hmm. The moon is also represented by what? Algaz in the runes. It's the upright. It looks like an upright tree. That is the protection sign, right? What energies they sent at you, right? It is it now reach nowhere. No, right? But you felt it, right? You felt it. Mm -hmm. What else about these energies, right? Somebody who's mentally stuck in their life, right? An effed up situation in Guantanamo Bay. Where's that 911 Freddy Krueger mud hut? Right, the house that was made of a pillar of salt. Yes, baby. This fakeazoid, this jealous one, this mouth breather. Mm -hmm. Stuck in their life, unable to change their situation, right? This person is mentally obsessed with you, Aquarius energy, as well as Mercury energy in the reverse. They're a dumbass and a dickhead. And tell them Case said so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This person has no trust in a situation where they are right now. If they're in a relationship, they're being cheated on. Mm -hmm. A lot of their bitterness towards you, the spite, the mental hate, those mental daggers that they sent, right? Is because they're unable to leave a toxic situation. But sometimes you can't leave because it's you that created and you're the toxic one, torturing everybody else around you. Mm -hmm. This person is blocked, but I told you this energy either has been revealed to you or you've been feeling the pull of that energy. But whatever they're sending towards you, it's not going to work. That's why this person, water, all of this water energy, this person is having, they can't sleep at night. Their bed is, a, their bed is an uneven, uneven. Is the name Evie? Who's Evie? Evelyn? Ellen? Elise? Ever, Ev, Ernie? I don't, listen, Ever, Ever, Everett? Whatever. Anyway, as I was saying before I interrupted myself again. Mm -hmm. Isaiah 48 22 this person is unable to sleep and they are watching you right with their hillbilly investigations trying to send more skullduggery and hiff shit your way that's what's blocking you at the moment how can it be circumvented for deck two all this jojo divine is gifting you with many choices one is not to drink of the cup of opium. This is about being careful who you eat and drink around, darling. Dears, yes, baby. Mm -hmm. Seven of Cups is represented by Scorpio as well as Venus energy. This is about you, what? Maximizing your options and choices, right? Not being disillusioned by a bull swanky that's been sent out by others to confuse your cranium, darling, dear. You are not confused. 
You are the object, right, of what? Misguided spell work. That is not, I repeat, blocking your blessings because divine is still going to open up many, many opportunities for you to take. This is about you trusting in your picker. Get him down and drop your eagle in it on. Yeah? Right? This person, place or thing has been caught with their negative energies. Right? So you got to get your Jeezy on. Right? Straight drop this and zip lock that. Right? You have to lock it, seal it, and send it back, blood. Mm-hmm. Don't like these sneaky, underhanded, two-faced frenemies. Right? Listen. Yep, I told you. It's a female energy, right? Somebody who you broke bread with, had partied with, right? This person always came with problems, problems, problem, pro, pro, problems and pro, Listen, blood, release me. <laughs> As I said, this person always has what zemblanity on them, right? It's on them like white on rice. Always got drama going on in their life, right? This is somebody you need to cut off quick, fast, and in a hurry. They're a liar. They're a liar and a cheat. Yes, baby. And they've got more in store for you. You know that energy. Trip them up, blood. Trip them up. When you see two sevens, you know spirit is there. Call your ancestors. You have to understand. When we see so many stores, you need to call them. This is a spiritual battle. One that you don't need to fight. Mm -mm. What's the outcome to this? Right? Yes, baby. Things moving along, Scotty. Right? Things being delivered to whom so it needs to be delivered to. Right? This is also about swift travel. Moving on. Mm -hmm. The Eight of Wands is represented by um, Sagittarius energy as well as um, Mercury energy. This is about whatever blockages were put on you, they are being lifted by the hand of divine. This is about what actual achievement. Continue to be devoted to whatever task you have at hand because divine is going to gift you, right? As I said, with the seven of cups, many options. This is lots of new ideas. Get pen and put it to paper, right? Even if when you're waking up in your sleep in the night as they're trying to wake you up, right? And have you nervous like the nine of swords, Right? Be like an elf. Write that shit down. Because this is where you're going to get your justice and your peace blood. And look at this. The jealous hater always going to be on the outside. Right? Watching you co-create and tap into creativity. What? Become a student of life. Some of you are going into the legal field. I don't care if you're a clerk doing the paperwork. You're in that bitch. I'm talking about balance. Libra energy. Mm -hmm. Don't look back, Scotty. Call your spiritual team, right? Because this also speaks about Cupid arrows. I keep telling you, love is in the air, right? And who's ever, right, tried to backstab, backstab you, betrayed you, and be betrayed you. Yeah, they betrayed you, right? He's going to be scuppered. This also talks about a medical surgery. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, Lord have mercy, right? We had what? The star that came out first of all. Anybody going for surgery at this moment in time, that cartation is going to work for you. This naked person talks about physical augmentations, right? Getting your mommy makeover on, getting the new you out, do it, do it. Yeah, some of you are going to be traveling. Are you going to the Dominican Republic? Are you going to Turkey? Make sure that you do your research like a student, right? So that you get the justice in the outcome that you want, right? This is about some of you going towards what? Pouring away what no longer subconsciously serves you, right? Get take letting the trash take itself out, right? Some of you are going to be achieving what? Fame, some kind of platform. This is you stepping into the limelight. Darling, dear, go for it, right? Take it. Look at this. Because it's going to gift you with the big P. This is also my marriage card. Lucrative opportunities, right? But send that spell word back. And don't take that skull tugger of what, Mitch, back in your life. You know who it is. You will feel it in your solar plexus, right? Let that moon energy work for you. Use your intuition and discernment, pile two. Mm -hmm. Let's get an FP on this, she's naive. Then we're on to pile three. 
Thank you very much, everybody who's donated. Yes, be a bit. Mitch trying to kill your vibe. Good God. Mitch can't kill my vibe. Mitch can't kill my vibe. This is your app, your arm. Um, affirmation of the day. Mm -hmm. Right. All who is left behind, what they wanted for you, darling dear, right, is a cap that they're going to have to wear. That's what Bob Barley said. If the cap fit, make them wear it. Yeah. Right. Because divine is going to gift you with true love. Continue to what? Pack light. Right. Claim dominion over yourself. Right. In every realm. And continue to what? Push through with your iron discernment. Remember, you are an eagle. You fly above drama. You don't allow drama in your house or your life. You are a drama free zone. And you have those badass alchemist ways to ensure said what? Serenity, darling, dear. Mm -hmm. Continue to what? In your case, Paul, too, do the Wendy Williams. Law 29 of the 48 laws of power. Plan all the way to the end. The plan that I had for you, right, is going to be balanced out. And this is a season of resolutions. And it's going to cause pain to others, right, while you continue to move on, Scotty. Some of you are going to be acquiring a new vehicle as well in this season. A new chariot of righteousness. Posh clap. Mm -hmm. I always have, um, I've got a, uh, what is it, Rose Quartz Angel in my Chariot of Righteousness. She comes with me everywhere. Look at this shit. I can't kid you not. Right, listen, this is, this, what's, what I've just seen, right? Remember I told you, right, Canas, this, it, facing this way is the Hermit in reverse. I also said the Hermit, right, this room is represented by Isa and Ophelia, the letter O. I kid you not, over on the floor behind me, the letter O, this is your main oppressor, the one that's sending all that bad juju to you, you, you know who it is, send it back, Scotty. Mm -hmm. Right, let's move on swiftly to deck three. 170 in the chat room. Namaste, big cat. This is the um, snowflake obsidian. Okay, pile three. Let's clear off, clear off the deck. On the base of your deck. Good golly and gosh. Again, we see the six of swords. Mm -hmm. This is Aquarius as well as what? Um, Mercury energy. This talks about a delay at this moment in time. Because of the said delay that you're hoping for, this could be a movement, um, leaving a toxic relationship. Maybe you haven't got your peas up the way you need to. Listen, do the Wendy Williams. Plan all the way to the end, darling dear. And if they're trying to what? Put their hands or feet or their words on you. There's many organizations out there. Don't wait. Don't hitch. Get your ass out of that situation. Right? Because you've got big cat things to be getting on with. Like what? Living and having peace. Replenishing your hairline. Right? Building up your confidences. Right? Getting your children to a safer space in their own mind. Because if you stay in a toxic situation and you've got kids. Right? Blame yourself for mental abuse of said children. Because they've got ears and eyes, darling dear. Right. I've told you off. Now let's move on. What else? Is Oh. What did I just say? Some of you need to be bought turning your back on the toxic situation, right? Knowing that it was what? For gazy, right? And full of F shit. Realizing that you have the whole world in your hands. Mm -hmm. Some of you are going to be finding that you're having a malady in your hands. A eczema. Dishydrotic eczema. I know what I'm talking about because I had it. But this is what came to mind. Right? No, it's because of the toxic situation. When you're in a situation that is not good for you, right? It breaks down your body. And in some cases, it will kill you dead. Stone dead. Mm -hmm. The two of wands is represented by Aries energy as well as Mars energy as we approach, right? This new moon in Aries. Those of you in a toxic situation, toxic working situation where you don't feel recognized, right? And you're not getting any comeback and you've not been made rich right this is about you what igniting those powers writing down setting your mudra right 
at the Aries new moon, right? For your new beginning, a new beginning in clarity, right? Usher in this new start, this clean break. This is about you putting your back into it, realizing and organizing your thoughts, finding the direction that you want to take with this new beginning. That's what's blocking you. You feel a bit of bit confusion in your cranium. Right? The divine is going to what? Clear away all of that. She's naive. Start cutting it upright. Right? Same like the um the second deck. This is Aquarius energy. Some divine is saying that once you turn your back on that toxicity, you're gonna to have a spiritual awakening. This is about somebody going through the DNS, darling dear. Well, you've got to get it out somehow, right? Because you was dealing with what? A full on narcissist. Right, in the making, somebody, right, who was a full-on projector. This is somebody who's extremely childish. If this is not your child, right, this is about you turning your back on that toxicity, pouring away those energies that kept you feeling low, right, because you were dealing with what? A manipulator and a one person, right, who knew your greatness, saw your shine, and tried to break you down, right, with what? Heavy words. This is about you, what? Rearranging your cranium, darling, dear. You have to understand positive affirmations, right? Positive actions in the right direction is going to give you this. Divine wants to give you many opportunities, better health, right? Mm -hmm. A new home, a more stable environment, right? This is also the internet. I keep telling you guys, hook up to that shit. Million, millionaires are being made and born on a daily basis with what? A charger and a mobile phone. You can do it if you put your back into it. This is about being gifted with marriage as well. Somebody who's truly going to be what? Coming in to serve the same purposes as you. But you have a new beginning promised to you, right? Let's clarify these cards. Turning your back on that toxicity and that nastiness that affected your health. Listen, divine said that's the truth, truth. Clarity, Miss Air, you're getting clarity. Use the energies of the new moon in Aries, right, to set out your new beginning, your new start, right? This is the divine download, right? And what? Where is my shit? I can't even get to it fast enough, right? <laughs> this is a Phoenician health warning. Did I did I frighten you from slumber? Ward, it's a warning and a red card. Get to it, Scotty. Right? Because you, divine, is cutting away for you to see the clarity of this new beginning. Right? And your ancestral team are in the background mixing and blend. Some of you need to put down that cup, that cup of opium, possibly alcohol. Right? Because it's clouding your judgment and it's going to keep you, what? Focused on the, ne the negativity. Right? This is about emancipating yourself from mental slavery. Didn't you hear Bob Marley say, play that track afterwards, over and over, until you get it, right? Your spiritual team are doing their level best, right, to work it out for you, Sagittarius energy. Mm -hmm. This is about what having true purpose, right? Look at the long-term benefits, right, of you creating this new beginning. Some of you will be in a legal field, right? Or you may have to use a legal situation legalities to free yourself from said situation whatever you choose spirit has your back call your ancestors right what about this what healing this deep healing aquarius energy yes baby yeah some of you are what having to cleanse off your body right from the gift that kept on giving that last mother foe gave you something Right, that had you had to what? Calling on your ancestors and the angels. Hope it wasn't going to kill you off. Stream dead, brown bread. Yes, baby. This is also about somebody. If you're waiting, right, for an apology from this mother foe, it's not coming. They're not sorry and they don't care, right? Mm -hmm. Some of you are trying to wash off the fact that this person was a down low and they dared sleep with you raw. Yes, baby, I said raw. You know what happened. Don't lie to yourself. Spirit saw everything. All right. Mm -hmm. Page of cups in reverse. This is also about what? Some of you are going to ha actually have to turn down the offer that's coming in, right? It's for your mental stability, right? And your spiritual ascension. 
Don't take that off a of scotty, right? Because it's going to lead you down a dark path that's going to twist you mentally, right? Mm -hmm. And block your creativity, right? You need to continue to be a student of life, darling, dear. Because the divine is gifting you with the big P. Possibilities, darling. Possibilities. Posh clap. Mm -hmm. What about this pie inspire Sputnik? What about Sputnik? Them are look what they're looking at what you can co-create with the divine. Let them look. Because what MC Hammer can touch this? Right? No matter what they do, you are still going to get this new beginning. Divine is telling you to be a student of life because this is whom the, the Page of Swords also is. This talks, also talks about a date and an invitation, one that is going to bring new love into your life, right? One that says your cup will run off over. This also speaks about Psalms 23.5. Your table is going to be set in front of Sputnik. Worry not, darling dear. Worry not. Mm-hmm. We haven't got time for worrying. Hairline, wrinkles, blood. Mm -mm. We're trying to do a Benjamin Buttons here. Posh clap. Posh clap. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This also speaks about a pregnancy. Somebody's in a conundrum whether to go through with the pregnancy with the cups right behind the page of swords. Right? Listen, that child is going to be a gift to you. This is, this is the baby that's what going to bring abundance into your life, right? Stability and security. Give you that spark, right? To put your best foot forward. Free yourself from mental... What? In, was it? Immense yourself from mental slavery. Yeah. Somebody's different about it. Bring that baby forth. Stability will be assured and abundance. This is a blessing for you, right? That child is going to come in with what? Nothing but gifts. Gifts from the day it takes its first breath. This also talks about serendipity, right? And the fates, right? And full on change. Don't worry about this F shit in the back, right? Don't take that apology and don't drink from a miva because they try and poison your blood clot. Yeah. And put you with the angels. Yeah. Mm hmm. I told you, when I'm on the move, I walk with what? Almonds and melons. And of late, Tesco's have been making these, these almonds so salty. So you'll see me of an evening in my bed, shining off my nuts. These nuts, blood. The almonds. Because, you know, you've got to keep the blood pressure down. Yeah. Continue to move on from a situation. Yeah, your emotions were involved. Whatever, blood. Move on, because you're moving on to greatness. Wrap yourself in that red, red cloak of wisdom, determination, and strength. Use the energy of the Aries moon, right? Because Aries is ruled by Mars. Attack your new beginning, right? Put your emotion, put a, put, put a lid on your emotions, right? Step outside of the situation, right? And gain clarity as well as harness those, those renegade feelings and realize that you're heading towards the big pea blood. Abundance on every level. Posh clap. Right? Leave the bad news bare, right? The blessing blocker in the past. Don't take anything from them. Don't. I told you. They might have got tripes in your blows line. Don't do it. Right? Or they might hit you with a bit of rohypno. And next thing you know, you wake up pregnant for this sort. Right? You don't know what happened. But your spirit will see everything and can't stop them. Don't put yourself in dangerous situations. Right? Whomsoever you left him behind in the past, they're crying like the Mitch that they are. Luke 22, 62. Mitch can't kill my vibe. Mitch can't kill my vibe. Yes, baby. Let's get an FP on this and then I'm out of here. For sure. 175 in the chat room. Namaste, big cats. Just finishing up. Yes, baby. This is your time. You're heading towards greatness. Are you prepared, right? Are you prepared for the spotlight, darling? Be prepared and ready at all times, right? Because divine is about to gift you with trinkets. And those trinkets are what? Infinite possibilities and opportunities. Mm -hmm. You saw the Wheel of Fortune. Ride that bitch until it's a flat tire. Right? This also speaks about a King of Pentacle coming towards you. Somebody who is self-made. Some of you are going to what? 
turn around and change things around and come out as an entrepreneur. Whatever you put your efforts into, it's going to bring you great, great abundance, right? Listen, we saw budget in the reverse. You're not going to have to budget. You're going to be in a position where you don't have to ask the price. Porsche clap! Hey, hey! Because you have to ask, you can't afford it. Mm -hmm. Realize that you have been free, right? Emancipated from mental slavery, right? That trap, that prison, that bondage. And on that note, I take off my spectacles of truth and I've got to push off. Because I'm going to I'm going to fry some fish today. Yes, give me. I might even give you a peek later. I don't know. I don't know. I like to tease. Anyhow, please toddle over to Teesprings. We have a plethora of paraphernalia that will surely tickle at your fancy. Oh yeah, um, my book F FP five 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 A Guided Tarot is also on Teesprings, but it keeps glitching, glitching. Listen, even my mouth is glitching at the moment. Right. But go over to Patreon where I've uploaded it if you, if you still want to acquire a copy. You still can. Big Cat Chronicles continues. Anyhow, um, I can't remember anything. Yeah, Teesprings, yeah. Patreon, yeah. Become a member, yeah. Um, if you require a personal read from me, please email me at FrequencyPhoenix555 at gmail.com. And continues to do the Bob Marley. What's that? Emancipate yourself from mental slavery. One way or the other, blood. One way or the other. And as I always say, don't get smoked. Don't smoke yourself. <laughs>